Hello, in this video I would like to talk about operations. Um, here, if you go to inventory and you look to your overview, what you see is the activity, the, the operations that are uh, ongoing for uh, your warehouse. So, uh, by default, Odoo has created uh, several operations. It could be a receipt, delivery orders, just uh, manufacturing operations. Uh, but you can also create uh, much more operations if you think that it's uh, needed to, to track it differently. And just to, to first go on this dashboard, so you can see here that you have also the possibility to group it by a uh, type of operation or by a warehouse or additional stuff and you can also decide for example and it could be useful if uh, for example Mitchell uh, manage only uh, I don't know received an internal transfer it doesn't need to see all the operations that are available so you could uh, decide to do a favorite view to only see operations that are really relevant uh, for you um so from here so you can see that you have a domain directly on the the received operation and you can decide if the operation that you will manage will be uh if you create by yourself uh if it will be an immediate operation so it's really directly an action that you will process or if there will be um, a plan transfer so it means that you will uh check if the product is available and plan the transfer from a point one to a point B. Um, but first, let's go to uh, the operation types. So if you go here, you will see so the so configuration and operation types. All each operations are configured by default. Uh, we'll click here to explain you uh, how it works. So you can choose first a name for your operation. Uh, there is also a sequence that will be used then uh, for uh, this operation. So for example, by default, the delivery orders as the sequence out. Uh, you can also decide a barcode for this operation. Uh, this is really useful when you use a barcode because you can directly uh, scan this operation to say that you would like to create uh, from scratch uh, a delivery, for example. Um, you have now, uh, since the V15, the reservation method that is available from the operation and not uh, anymore uh, global for all the operations. So the reservation can be at confirmation manually or before the scheduled date uh, on this operation. Uh, what is really important also, and I will, no, I will go first on this part. Um, so you can, there are four types of uh, operation that exist by default. Is it a, a receipt? So do I receive this kind of operation? Is it a kind of receipt? Is it a <coughs> sort of delivery? Uh, is it an internal, internal transfer inside the warehouse? Or is it a manufacturing operation? <clears throat> so you can choose, for example, that uh, my operation type will be uh, called um, release from quality control and it will be an internal transfer because I move my product from uh, my location quality control to uh, my stock. Uh, you can choose which company is related to this operation and in this case there is a return for this location which operation will be used to manage the return. So by default uh, when you do a delivery orders the operation type that will be used will be a return. You have also the uh, option to show detailed operation uh, that could help you uh, depending on your business to, to see directly this information uh, displayed on the operation. Um, and then here you have the part of the traceability. This is very important. You can decide from which operation you uh, create say, a number and then uh, if you can also uh, exist serial number. So usually you have 
the creation of lot and sale number at the reception or at the later stage. But as soon as you begin to track a product, you will, uh, on the other operation, you will have to uh, tick at the box a uh, use existing uh, lot sale number because you will have to track your product during this whole journey in your warehouse. <coughs> You have also to the option of move entire package. It means that instead of scanning each product inside your package, if you activate this option, you will uh, be able to scan directly the package uh, instead of the product. And then you have the location that are used by default for the source and the destination. Uh, this part is linked to uh, the IoT box for the POS. So globally, you see that there are a lot of options available from the operation. So it's really important that you understand each of these configuration. Um, and there are much more uh, also possibility of configuration if you activate, for example, uh, the, the batch picking. But I won't discuss this uh, in this video. It will be uh, discussed in the, the, the picking video. Um, here I would like to show you uh, when is it useful, for example, to create a separate operation. So what I will do is I will, um, here for this row, so I will say that um, I receive my product in two steps. So I receive my goods first in an input zone and then I move it to uh, the stock. <coughs> so I will save. So now uh, my route in two steps is activated. It's uh, this one. And I would like to keep my internal transfer for really to, for the, the goal of moving one product from a place to another, like from the shelf A to the shelf B, instead of uh, moving and separate the action of moving from input to the storage. So what I will do is I will uh, create a new operation and I will call it uh, <coughs> release from quality control. Uh, I will give it the sequence. Uh, I think if I choose here, uh, this, uh, and then the barcode will be the same, it's easier. I will let it as it is here. By default, my source location will be input and my default will be stock. It's an internal transfer. Uh, my return is will be, I will let it empty because uh, I can put just an internal transfer. I think it will be the most uh, relevant. And then for the rest, I will let it as it is. And from there, I don't create any serial number. Um, and voila, if I save, you see that the reference sequence is automatically created from the code I have set here. And then uh, you will see that so now I have my operation. I can move it here because it has more sense for me to do to put it here. So now if I see my dashboard, I will see that I have received then release from quality control. Uh, and I put the internal transfer below because it's really a separate move and it has not the same purpose. And then on my route, I will say that when I do a reception in two steps, instead of using a normal internal transfer, I will use my new operation, release from quality control, save. And now if I uh, create uh, a PO for one product, I will take Azure Interior, for example, and take uh, the acoustic block screen. I confirm, you will see that I have my received. That will happen in the input zone. I can uh, validate this one. Uh, it needs a serial number, I would say 01. When you need, I confirm, <coughs> I validate. And if I go to my dashboard, I will see that I have an activity here 
in release from quality control instead of having that in the internal transfer. And for me, it's more relevant because I really can track differently the transfer between uh, locations for uh, organi organized better my stock than really the release from quality control. And here I have my operation that I can just set quantity and then validate. Uh, voilà, that's all for this uh, video. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. And don't hesitate to reach me if you have any questions. Bye bye.